Hi, this is David Abanak Turtle. We'll look at measures of mortgage prepayment. The prepayment is an embedded option and it is the defining feature of a mortgage loan. On the one hand, if a homeowner sells their house, generally there's a due on sale clause, which will prepay the mortgage loan. But secondly, the homeowner can voluntarily prepay some or all of the mortgage loan by refinancing the loan or by just choosing to pay down some of the outstanding balance. In either case, from the perspective of the investor in the mortgage loan, or really pools of mortgage loans, the prepayment affects the performance and therefore is an important input into the valuation model. So here, a very simple prepayment model, and I've got one row per month. So if we think about a pool of 30-year fixed rate mortgage loans, we would have 360 rows, 360 months. I'm not going to show them all. And then we've got two of the traditional rates here. The CPR, it's called the conditional prepayment rate, sometimes the constant prepayment rate, and then the SMM, which is the single monthly mortality rate. They're really not different. The single monthly mortality rate is simply the monthly equivalent or monthly translation of the CPR, which again is an annual prepayment rate. So really the model is about an assumption around the annual prepayment rate that then gets, for modeling purposes, converted into its monthly equivalent. And so in terms of the benchmark conditional prepayment rate, I've got that in this column here in dark green. It's anchored in zero and then increases at 0.2% per month. And it's graphed right here in green, anchored in zero, increasing at 0.2% per month until we get to 30 months. Keep in mind that's an annual prepayment rate. And then I'll put the, I'll put the numeric example of that right here. So if the month is less than or equal to 30, that annual prepayment rate is 6% times the number of months divided by 30. And then when we get to months beyond 30, then it levels off at a 6% annual prepayment rate. So you can see how we've got a benchmark annual prepayment rate. And then for modeling purposes, depending on different mortgage loan characteristics, we then just exp express our view on the prepayment as a function of that benchmark. So here is PSA 100, which means we're using the benchmark. So you can see at PSA 100, PSA is named for the association, which has since been merged into another association, but we still use PSA as the benchmark. And we can see here it's the same 0.2% per month increasing. And so if we use the benchmark at PSA 100, we're making this assumption. And then, so we've got the annual prepayment rate. And so you can see here's the formula for that. And then for modeling purposes, we need to convert it into its monthly equivalent, the single monthly mortality rate. And so here, we're simply applying monthly compounding to say that the single monthly mortality rate is equal to one minus this quantity, one minus the annual CPR rate raised to the 1 12th or the 12th root. And so if we're here at the PSA 100, which is using the benchmark annual prepayment rates, and then we want to go over here to the first monthly mortality rate, we're just applying this formula here converting the annual prepayment rate of 0.2% into its implied monthly equivalent under monthly compounding. And here we get 0.02% roughly, 0.017% to be more accurate. And so then this becomes the assumption that we use for the monthly prepayment. So that's PSA 100, and then you can see then by convention, we just express, if we want to express, for example, a mortgage pool that we think pre will prepay more rapidly, we might use something like pre PSA 150. And in that case, we're, we're saying it's 150 divided by 100 or 1 1.5, the benchmark CPR or annual repayment rate. So in that case, PSA 150 is 0.3 in the first month. 0.6 in the second month, and so on. It's just one and a half times our benchmark annual prepayment rate. On the other hand, if we want to do 
model an assumption about a mortgage pool that prepaid less rapidly we might use PSA 50 and so you can see here we're, we're prepaying at half the rate of the benchmark and I've got those modeled here green again is the benchmark conditional prepayment rate and then blue here is PSA 150 where you can see we're prepaying at one and a half times and then in red here PSA 50 where we're prepaying at half the benchmark CPR so those are just different scales on the benchmark CPR and then in each case they're can translate it into their equivalent or implied single monthly mortality rates per the same formula and so the application of that is illustrated here let's assume that the beginning balance of the month for the pool of mortgage loans is 100 million and then there's a scheduled principal repayment after all these are going to be amortizing loans so there's a scheduled principal repayment of 1 million and then what we do in the model is we use the assumption for the single monthly mortality rate so this is the additional prepayment and here I'm just borrowing from one of the cells here I'm using the 100 PSA out at 30 months so my equivalent PSA my equivalent uh, single monthly mortality rate happens to be about 0.51 percent so based on where we are in the timeline and what what uh, ratio we're using relative to the benchmark CPR we've got a monthly mortality rate here and we're simply multiplying that monthly mortality rate times the beginning balance minus the scheduled principal and then under this assumption we're estimating the prepayment to be about half a million dollars again that's going to be a function of where we are on the timeline and what benchmark what ratio we've used relative to the benchmark CPR this is David Harper the Bionic Turtle thanks for your time